Howdy there, partners! I just rode in from the Wild West, where I saw the most amazing spiky plants. And now I'm going to show you how you can make your very own at home. It's a card cactus. What an arty adventure that was! But stick around, there's a new video up next! This is a make you'll want to snap up right away. In fact, you could say it's picture perfect. But don't worry, you'll be able to make it in a flash. Get ready to say cheese for this cool card camera! You will need gloopy glue, a small card box, some paint, a large bottle top, a bead, some ribbon and a sticker. First, take a small cardboard box and paint it any colour you like. When it's dry, you can add the different camera parts. How about a sticker for the flash? A bottle top for the lens? and a piece of ribbon for the strap. Add the bead on top for the button. And smile! Oh look, it's the shapes! Picture perfect! What an arty adventure that was! But stick around, there's a new video up next. I've got pencils and pens all over the place. Look. So it's time to hop to it and tidy up. Why don't you grab everything you need to make this fantastic frog pen pot? <laughs> you will need two wooden spoons, two ping pong balls, a green paper cup, some green paint, red card, a pen, and some gloopy glue. First, paint the two spoons and leave them to dry. Once dry, cross them over and glue them together like this. Then, carefully stick them to the back of a paper cup. Draw a black circle onto each ping pong ball to make the eyes like this. Take a red strip of card and curl it around a pen like this to make a tongue. Finally, glue your eyes to the spoons, use a pen to draw a mouth and stick on your curly tongue.
Now your pen pot is ready to use. Fantastic! What an arty adventure that was! But stick around, there's a new video up next. Mini makers, you know I'm always on trend with the latest fashions. Well, let me show you what all the cool creatures are wearing next season. Whoa! It's a totally awesome monster hat! You will need an old baseball cap, some fun foam shapes, and some googly eyes. First, take a strip of white fun foam and carefully cut out triangle shapes for teeth. Be careful, scissors are sharp! Also, cut out circles for the monster's spots and two ear shapes. Now, take your baseball cap and start adding the teeth around the peak of the cap. Add the spots and the two ears. When everything is dry, finish off your monster hat with three terrifyingly terrific googly eyes. It's a monster of a make. Hats off to this idea. What an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next. Hello, my friends. Now, what do elephants watch in the evening? They watch Elevision. <laughs> and that reminds me of today's fantastic elephant make. You will need a paper bag, a pen, some paper and card, circle-shaped stickers, and a glue stick. First, fold a large piece of card in half and carefully cut a wiggly shape like this. Rounding off the corners to create elephant ears. Glue these to the back of the paper bag like this. Then use lots of paper and card shapes for the elephant's mouth, tusks, trunk and feet. Fold the trunk shape over on itself, back and forth, back and forth, like this. Now stick everything onto your elephant. Add stickers for eyes and add extra detail with a pen. Once you've added a big elephant smile, you're done. Elephantastic! What an arty adventure that was! But stick around, there's a new video up next. And now, Mini Makers, let me present to you possibly the prettiest, most perfect pal I could provide for you to place on your presents. It's a peekaboo peg! You will need an old greeting card, a peg and some glue. First, take an old greeting card and cut out two pictures. I'm using pictures of a wrapped present and a teddy bear. Be careful, scissors are sharp. Now, carefully cut the present and the teddy in half.
what an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next. Hello Midi Makers, now there's something fishy going on here. It's another great make. A goldfish on a plate. You will need glue, some paper and card, a blue circle of card, a paper plate, pipe cleaners, a googly eye, circle shaped stickers, and a pen. What an arty adventure that was! But stick around, there's a new video up next! Circle, triangle, square and rectangle. Four of my bestest buddies. And now you can create your very own tip-top shapes pencil toppers. You will need loopy glue, air drying clay, some paint, googly eyes, a pen, a pencil and a lolly stick. You can make any of the shapes you like, but I'm going to show you how to make our friend square. First, take a ball of air drying clay and use your hands to push it down and flatten it. Then use a lollipop stick and cut into the clay to make the straight edges of your shape. Now take a pencil and very carefully push it into the bottom of the shape. Then remove it. Let it dry and once it's dry, paint your shape any colour you like. This one is blue because I'm making square. Draw on a smile. Stick on two googly eyes and pop your pencil back in. It's ready! A totally top pencil topper. I'm a shape. What an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next. Want to make something to impress your friends? Well, don't worry, because this realistic looking donut made from a sock will be just the thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, it's cool. <laughs> Hello. That, what? You want to hear all about it? Well, don't worry. I'll give you a ring. <laughs> I'll give you a ring. <laughs> oh, come on. You will need an old sock, some felt, some wool, gloopy glue, and some cotton wool balls. First, take a sock and turn over the open end like this. Very carefully cut the toe end off the sock, but be careful, scissors are sharp. Now add cotton wool balls under your folded edge to make a donut shape. Then fold the rest of the sock over the donut like this. 
Now push the rest of the sock through the hole and repeat these steps until you have a lovely tight finished donut, just like this. Add some decoration to your donut. How about a felt splat shape for the icing? Use scissors to carefully cut a hole in the middle and then glue it on. Finally, dip a piece of wool into gloopy glue. And stick this onto your donut as more wiggly icing. Trim the end of the wool if you need to and leave it to dry. Wow! It looks good enough to eat! What an arty adventure that was! But stick around, there's a new video up next! Hello Mini Makers! It's time to rev your engines and go car crazy for this make! It's a totally terrific toy car frame! You will need an old photo frame, some old toy cars, some paint, a lolly stick, glue, and a nice picture to go inside the frame. First, ask permission from an adult to use an old photo frame and then paint it a dark colour so it looks like the road. When it's dry, take a lollipop stick, dip it in white paint and print the road markings. Then add your toy cars to the road. And you're finished! Oh, the traffic looks good today. And this make looks really good too. What an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next. I love Christmas! And with this make, there's something that you can do to get into the festive spirit with this plate tree complete with dazzling decorations. Gather some paper plates, glue them together, add a card trunk and stickers to make a fantastically festive Christmas tree. You will need some recycled brown card, a green paper plate, a silver star, some stickers, some glue and some glitter. Firstly, very carefully cut a green paper plate into three sections. It doesn't matter if they aren't the same size. Be careful, scissors are sharp. Stick these sections together, starting with the smallest at the top and the biggest at the bottom. Stick a piece of cardboard to the base for the trunk. Now use gloopy glue to create wavy lines and then cover them in glitter. Finish with sticker decorations and a fun foam star. And we're finished! Happy holidays! And if you want to try another artastic idea, look no further. There's a new video up next. Cheese and pickle. No, prawn mayo. Oh, peanut butter and jam. Oh, I can never decide what my favourite sandwich is. But luckily, with my foam sandwiches, you can make any filling you like. With just two triangles of sponge and foam slices, you can make a super sandwich. You will need two sponge cloths, coloured fun foam, brown paint, and that's it. First, paint the edges of a yellow sponge brown and let it dry. Then, cut it in half like this. Be careful, scissors are sharp. 
cut a wiggly, wavy line in a green fun foam strip to make lettuce. And then stick on all the fun foam shapes to one side of the sponge. That's the lettuce. Some cheese. And a slice of tomato. Cover the other piece of bread in glue. And stick it on top. Tasty! It almost looks good enough to eat! Planet Earth! It's pretty cool, isn't it? Just imagine if you could hold the whole world in your hands. You don't think it's possible? Well, obviously you haven't tried this. Make the planet we all live on with scrunchy tin foil and a paper plate. Very simple. You will need a blue paper plate, tin foil, green paint, string, and gloopy glue. First, we need to make the continents of the world. Grab some tin foil and start scrunching shapes. Glue these shapes to your blue paper plate. Then paint the foil shapes green. Very carefully, use a hole punch to make a hole in the top of the plate and tie your planet to a piece of string. And wherever you are in the world, have a great day! What an arty adventure that was! But stick around, there's a new video up next. Stars, moons, planets, the universe is a pretty awesome place, but normally much easier to see at night time. Not anymore, especially when you can make your very own galaxy in a jar. This amazing galaxy is cotton wool dipped in food dye or watered down paint. It's mixed with glitter and finished off with star stickers. You will need cotton wool, food dye, a jar, glitter and some stickers. First, mix some food dye with water in jugs. I'm using three colours today. Now, pour some of the liquid into the jar. I'm starting with pink. Add some cotton wool balls until the liquid is covered. You get a nice effect if you can pull the cotton wool apart first. You'll need something to push the cotton wool down into the liquid. I'm using a lollipop stick to do this. Look, the cotton wool has soaked up all the colourful liquid. Let's sprinkle in some glitter now. And then add some more cotton wool. Now let's try a different colour. And keep going until you've filled up the jar. Put the lid on the jar and then decorate it with some sticky stars. It's a glittery galaxy. Great! What an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next. What's better on a hot day than a lovely scoop of ice cream in a cone? I'll tell you, two, three, four, five, maybe even six scoops of ice cream. It's time for some ice cream cone counting fun. This is a great counting game. Roll the die and then place the ice cream scoops on the cone. You will need card, lollipop sticks, pom-poms, a die and some pegs. First, decorate a triangle of card so it looks like an ice cream cone. I've used a pen to draw some crisscross lines. Stick the cone to two lollipop sticks. Like this.
Using glue, stick each pom-pom to a wooden peg. I've made one, two, three, four, five, six ice cream scoops. Now we're ready to play the game. Roll the die and then place the right number of ice cream scoops on the cone. One. Two. Three. I'm a winner. What an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next. Listen up, my friends. It's time for a pretty perfect slice of paper bag pizza perfection with this make. This tasty pizza is just a paper bag. Its edges are rolled up to make a crust with lots of toppings cut from card. You will need a brown paper bag, lots of colored card and paint. Take a brown paper bag, glue the bottom and start rolling the bag into a pizza crust. Let it dry and then cut the bag into a triangle shape. Let it dry, then cut the bag into a triangle shape. Then stick it all together with glue. Paint the tomato sauce onto your pizza slice. I'm using red paint. I've made lots of pizza toppings by cutting coloured card into shapes. Cheese, mushrooms, olives, pepperoni, pineapple, ham and onion. But you can make anything you like. What's your favourite topping? Then stick your toppings to the pizza. Finally, I've made some olives by hole punching small circles of black card. Why don't you try it? A perfect paper bag pizza. Yum! What an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next. Hello there. <laughs> Sorry, I think I just heard my tummy rumble. There's only one thing for it. It's time for a tasty taco tummy treat. This is a folded paper plate filled with card and tissue paper shapes for the yummy taco fillings. You will need a white paper plate, some glue, yellow paint, green tissue paper and coloured card and paper. First, take a paper plate, turn it over and paint the back yellow. Then leave it to dry. Then fold it in half. It's now time to add the fillings. I've got tissue paper and card here in lots of different colours and shapes. Here's my lettuce, salsa, and sour cream. And how about we finish it off with some cheese strips. Now glue everything in place and glue the other side of the paper plate, fold it over and leave it to dry. If you want to, you can use a black pen to add extra detail. It's a taco-tastic tasty treat. Why don't you try it? All clear for take off. <laughs> What a display! And coming into land! Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was getting a little bit carried away there with today's make. But strap in, my friends. This amazing peg plane has lollipop stick wings and you can paint it however you like. All you need is a wooden peg, lollipop sticks, some glue and some paint. First, paint a peg any colour you like. I'm painting mine yellow. Then paint the lollipop sticks. Two long and one short. Use a pen to add details to your sticks. Then glue it all together. Now 
you can make lots of peg planes in any colors you like. Ready for takeoff? Here we go! I hope you and your mini makers enjoyed that video. Subscribe now for more arty adventures. How does Frosty the Snowman get around? On an icicle. <laughs> and what do you get if you cross a snowman with a shark? Frostbite! <laughs> Frostbite! No? Get on with the make? All right. Here's a very cool snowman mask. Look! <laughs> the mask is a paper plate with the middle removed and a card hat stuck to the top, finished off with a buckle. You can even add a lollipop stick to hold the mask. You will need a white paper plate, black card, orange card, yellow fun foam, and lollipop sticks. Fold a white paper plate in half, and starting at the folded edge, cut out the middle. Stick a strip of black card to the bottom of a black rectangle, Add card and fun foam shapes for the buckle. Stick the hat to the plate with tape. Round the edges of an orange card triangle. and stick this carrot and the mask to the lollipop sticks. And there you have your very own snowman mask. What an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next. Hello. I have to be honest, there's something really bugging me about today's make. <laughs> In fact, this lot are going to love it. It's my rather wonderful spoon bugs. These are so simple to make. The bugs are just painted spoons with fun foam leaves and googly eyes. The spoon handle makes the branch. You will need a wooden spoon, some googly eyes, stickers, fun foam, and some paint in any colour that you want your bugs to be. First, paint the spoon end red, let it dry, and then paint the handle brown. If you want to, you can use a pen to add some extra detail before you stick on your stickers for the spots. Stick on your googly eyes. Cut the leaf shape from fun foam. Fold it in half and then very carefully cut a small slit. Slot the spoon into the leaf and there you have it, a spoon bug. Hello there. Hang on. <laughs> That's better. Uh, and actually, this is very handy because I'm going to need it for today's make. It's a marvelously monstrous tissue box monster. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make a painted tissue box monster with sticker spots for details, white sharp teeth made from card, and ping pong ball eyes. You will need a tissue box, ping pong balls, white card, round stickers, paint, and glue. Take an empty tissue box and paint it any colour you like. I'm painting this one purple.
Take some white card and cut out triangle shapes to make teeth. My teeth look like this. And then glue it all together. Decorate your box with yellow stickers or any colour you like. Grab two ping pong balls. Use black stickers and stick them on to create eyes. And then glue your monster's eyes to the top of the box. And there you have it, a tissue box monster. Rawesome! I have the most amazing firework display that you can make very easily. And this idea is so brilliant, you can make it any time of the year. Use a cardboard tube to create a city with an amazing fireworks display overhead. You will need coloured card, a cardboard tube, some paint and black card. Grab a few small cardboard tubes. Very carefully cut slits into the tubes to create a firework stamp. But be careful, don't cut all the way down to the end. Now dip your firework stampers into the paint. Now it's time to create your firework display. Use your painty stampers to print your fireworks onto a coloured piece of card. Grab a black piece of card the same width as your painting and cut out a silhouette. This shape could be a city skyline like London or Sydney. Or maybe the shapes are watching your firework display. What a fantastic firework display. Happy New Year everyone from me, Mr Maker and the shapes. There's nothing I like more than pottering around in the garden on a sunny day. <laughs> oh no, but it's not the same in the rain, is it? Well, fear not my friends, today's make is a garden that doesn't rely on what the weather's doing outside. This special garden is a blue card circle with hole punched edges to thread brown wool through. This helps to hide the fun foam vegetables. All you need is a circle of card, a hole punch, brown wool and fun foam. I'm starting with a circle of blue card. Carefully punch holes all along the edge of the blue circle. Then thread brown wool back and forth through the holes on one half of the plate. This will show the earth underground. When you're finished, Secure the wool with a knot. Cut a carrot shape from the orange fun foam. And use a smaller green triangle of foam to cut into leaf shapes. Stick the leaves to the carrot. Then pop your carrot into the soil. You can make any vegetables you like. And there it is, a wonderful woolly garden. What an arty adventure that was. But stick around, there's a new video up next.